up here with cleaning up some rubbing alcohol. Not the uh, colored kind, because that leaves uh, a medical, medical uh, anesthetic. Yeah, is that right? Behind, so you don't want that to be lingering on there. So let's give it a good cleaning and all the indentations. Any kind of car wax. Junk out of there. And you can do those with a wet set, or we're gonna do it with a dry set, with a pair of tweezers. But if you're not comfortable with uh, decal laying, then I would definitely do a wet set with some soapy water. So I take this off. Try to keep your fingers and stuff off the uh, adhesive as much as possible. Just grab the corners if you have to. Just make sure there's no dust from the paper towels or whatever you use left on there. Start with like the bottom area. Make sure it's lined up. And once you line that up, you line the sides up and then it should just fall into place. There we go. And take your fingers, smash it in. Okay, and if you have a towel, paper towel or a rag, you can use it. Or a squeegee, of course, and use it to give a little bit more pressure because you can get it slide along there without dripping with your fingers. And then, of course, I recommend a hair dryer or a heat gun on low. Heat gun on low, hair dryer on high to really bake it in there to get it to sink into those dimples and the plastic, but natural, natural uh, texture. Anything that's plastic with texture is always good, even in the dash, dash inserts. So this will actually be the exact same procedure for the dash, so you don't really have to watch different videos. And that's how that goes. Just keep repeating it, one for each one. On the end, let's do the end now, because it's going to be a little harder than the rest of the letters. And if you're doing this once again with dry set, make sure you grab somewhere centered, so you can keep the decal straight. Find your piece edges, line that up. Down on there, and on this one, you want to just kind of come over to this side, and make sure it's still lining up. Keep this corner in there, but you want to put it down so it's even, so you don't have a wrinkle. Here we go. Same, same exact way you did the T. Smash it down there with a rag with a fingertip or a paper towel, and then afterwards, if you wanted to make it really permanent, just use your hair dryer or heat gun. But you can see the dimples showing through right here when you do this. So it's actually pushing it in there. If the temperature is above 65, 70, it's pretty much no issue.